So word on the street is, you want a pair of Doc Martens, but you don't know which one to get. Don't worry, I'll make it easier on you. The first thing to think about is which type of Doc Martin leather you want to get. Simply because this can make or break your Doc Martin experience. Because each and every leather has a different breaking period. Let me elaborate. The hardest Doc Martens to break into are the smooth leather. And ironically, they're the most seen in stores. I believe it's because they're the classics. They're like everywhere. These will definitely make you work for your docs. So, how tough are you? But don't stress yourself out too much. If you want a pair of smooth leather, please go and get them. There's easier ways to break into those smooth leathers. And also, it's like a rite of passage. A lot of people have been through it. And if they can do it, I'm sure you can do it too. But if you want your life to be easier and you don't want to go through that gruesome breaking in period, there are some easier Doc Martens that can break into your feet fairly easily. The easiest one is the vegan leather. Here's a secret. It's not even leather, so it's synthetic, it's plastic. But if you're a leather person, you want leather, Doc Martens do offer some soft leathers, which are very easy to break into compared to the smooth leather. These leathers are the Virginia leather, the Napper leather, and also the Pisa leather. Everything else is kind of in the middle when it comes to breaking into them. The second thing to think about is sizing. Finding your Doc Martin size can be very tricky because of so many different variables and factors. As we all know, Doc Martens do not offer half sizes. Well, if you don't know, now you know. Some people say size up, while others say size down. But for me personally, the best advice that I can give you is to actually go to a Doc Martin stores, if possible. Try them on, you can get your exact fit, you can try multiple pairs and things like that. But if it's not possible, another advice that I can give you is to try and measure out your feet and then compare it to the Doc Martin website, which it has a size chart that you can compare it to and then also, if you have wide feet, you might be sizing up anyways. This is the sizing for all of my Doc Martin boots that I do own currently. My 1460s, 1461s, 39-89, and my Chelsea boots are all size 9. My Adrian's are size 8. One of my sandals is a size 8, while the other one is a size 10. Lastly, my non-leather Doc Martens, my Tarek Lowe's, those are a size 8. So the sizing can be very confusing, depending on the type of Doc Martens that you do want. The last thing to think about before buying your first pair of Doc Martens is actually where to buy them. There's a lot of different places where you can get Doc Martens, and each of them has their pros and their cons. When it comes to buying a pair of Doc Martens online, the good thing is that it's easy. I can do it in the comfort of my own home, especially on the Doc Martens website. But the difficulties can be number one, trying to find my size. I wear a size nine, which is very common. And then also another thing is if I do get the wrong size, it's gonna be a pain to try to return them and get my right size because I cannot do online purchases at the Doc Martin website and try to change it in stores. For some reason, they said that doesn't work. But the biggest thing about doing it online, everything is there. If you know your size, if you know exactly what you want, and also buying Doc Martens online. One thing that I do, don't tell anybody, is that I shop for Docs on sale. For example, whenever the seasons are changing or Thanksgiving is coming, the holidays, a couple of Doc Martens do go on sale. But just keep in mind, the smooth leather will never go on sale. The um, made in England, they will never go on sale. But other Docs, I mean, if I really want them and they're on sale to have my size, I don't mind picking them up, it's cheaper, it looks good. Buying them in stores is good too because it's brand new, number one. You get to go through that whole Doc Martin experience if you want to. And then my biggest advantage about buying them in stores is you get to try them on. You get to feel them, how they fit. You walk around with them and see exactly what you want. I remember my first time buying a pair of Doc Martens. I tried on a size that was bigger than my actual feet and I walked in it felt like flippers, which was very good because if I would have bought it online, that could have been a whole dilemma. But the bad thing about buying it in stores is actually, this is kind of lazy on me, driving to the store and then you're not sure if they have your size because 
when I went to buy my first pair of Doc Martens, I went to the store and they actually did not have my size. So I felt like I just wasted a trip. The last way that I've thought about buying some Doc Martens is secondhand, which is online or in person from a friend or something like that. The good thing is that number one, once you get them, you don't have to break them in because usually they're already broken into. So from day one, they can be good. But the bad about buying some stuff secondhand is making sure somebody that you trust, making sure that whoever is selling the Doc Martens, they're not lying or they're not playing games with you, making sure that it's um, some real Doc Martens because some people, for some reason, they play games or they have this bad mentality, which is not good, but hopefully if you're buying it secondhand, you do find somebody that's trustworthy and what they say is what you get and you get some good pair of Doc Martens. And also secondhand, I have seen, or not secondhand, but just online, there have been some like very vintage Doc Martens that people have gotten from like the 70s or the 80s and now they're selling it. So that's a whole nother thing to dive into, but yeah. Those are the ways that I kind of buy my Doc Martens. I hope that helps in your adventure and again, some Doc Martens. If I forgot anything, please leave it down in the comments. Thanks for watching.